Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about where the market went this past week, where we think the market's going in this coming week. And if you're looking to become a consistently profitable trader, definitely hit that subscribe button. I personally trade ES and NASDAQ futures. So if you trade that, you'll definitely want to subscribe. It's taken me just over two years to become consistently profitable. Lots of trial and error, lots of lessons learned, lots of pain. But over time, I became more consistent. And I believe that you will as well if you're not already. So without further ado, let's dive into the charts. We're taking a look at NASDAQ on the daily chart. And last video, I said that capitulation week is likely coming. So it's Thursday after the market close, and what do you know? Looks like capitulation. Uh, very sharp sell off the past few days, and I think that we were forming a bottom. I will be honest. I thought you know fourteen thousand four hundred to four thousand two hundred would be the bottom. Uh, we did go down for, to fourteen thousand one hundred on Nasdaq, but we are still closing around forty thousand two hundred. So that was the, my eventual target there. Uh, ES, we went lower than I expected. We'll talk about ES shortly. But on NASDAQ, uh, at the 200-day moving average, closing just below, uh, at this point, it's a 13% correction, and I am anticipating this week to be the bottom for the market, but I want to see, obviously, more confirmation. So I'm personally actually going to be waiting for a four-hour bullish market structure shift to wait for any longs. So if you just look at the four-hour chart, what does that mean? That means that I want a four-hour bar to close above 14,460, and when we do that, I'll look to get it along on a retracement. So what that could look like is, you know, we may not go up right away today, but I mean like tomorrow, Friday, but even if, let's say we did for whatever reason, we go up, we close above, we get to 4,550, right? So we're like, oh, we're bullish now on the four hour chart. I'm gonna wait for a retest. Say we get down to 40,400. That's what I'm looking to get in the long. And my stop will be below the lows. So again, 4,400 or so. Stop will be below the lows we put in. This is if we got a four hour bullish market structure shift. Uh, and then my target is gonna be up here. First target at 14,900, but basically ultimately about 15,000. So that's the long I'm looking to get in once we get confirmation, no confirmation yet. So all we need to know right now is that the NASDAQ is extremely bearish. There's no reason to look for longs until we get more confirmation like I've shown there. That's the first level of confirmation, but the second level of confirmation would be getting a bullish market structure on the daily chart. And we can only achieve that when we get a close above 15,000. So you know, if you want to be really safe with longs, then you would say, don't get into any longs unless we get a daily close above 14,980 can do that then we can start to look for longs uh, and if we were to do that the unfortunate part is that we would have to put those stops below here at the moment uh, unless we pushed up into resistance to the left here sold off put in a higher low on the daily and then pushed up again then you could you know put your stop below whatever swing low is around 4,600 on the daily but for now just know we're not bullish on the daily for NASDAQ until we get above you know until we get to get to about 15,000 on the NASDAQ so that's quite far from now so that's why I'm waiting for the four hour chart to give more signals because I do think that the bottom is either today or tomorrow. I think that we're there pretty much, but we can't get anything until we have confirmation. Let's just go to the weekly chart so you can see what I'm talking about here. Uh, here, we went exactly to where I thought. This is right to the left. I thought we could get to, into this wick, which is about 14,300 and find support here, bounce back up. Um, some people think we can get all the way down to 13,700. I'm personally not in that camp. I don't think we will get all the way down there. Obviously in the weekly chart, it looks like there's just clean trading down there. It looks like there's no reason for us not to get down there. But personally, I think that we're gonna stop around here this week and start to work our way back up again, but we're not taking longs until we get confirmation. Now, let's go to ES on the weekly chart. ES on the weekly chart, right? We broke down lower than I thought. I thought the bottom would be about 4,200 for ES, but you know we went down 50 points lower than that and uh, we went to about 41.50. So I don't have a lot to say here other than there's a whole bunch of support to the left and I think that that's a perfect spot for a bottom. If you go to the daily chart, extremely weak, broke all the way through the 200 day moving average and got a lot lower than it, that's not good for long term. But if we get back above it, we're gonna be looking good. All we need to know right now is, again, same with NASDAQ, like it's extremely bearish, there's no reason to look for longs. If you wanted to look for longs on ES, we would have to wait for the four hour to close above 42.10. But, you know, again, that's sketchy. If, what you really wanna do is wait for the daily, but then on the daily, you're waiting until we get a close up back above 4,300. So once we get above 4,300, we can look for longs and move the stop below lows, but I'm favoring the NASDAQ right now. Let's take a look at the, the VIX and DXY. So this is something that I like to see, and this is a reason why I think that we probably did bottom today. Why? Because look at the VIX. We made a high in the VIX on Monday, October 23rd. 
We made a lower high today. We had rejection candles both times. VIX is making lower highs and the market made lower lows. We got to a lower low with less volatility, which means you're near bottom. It happens uh, quite a bit in the past. So because of that, I think that we'll have an update tomorrow, Friday. And if we do that, then I think that'll solidify that we did put in a bottom today. Let's take a look now at DXY. So DXY on the daily chart, I remember, yeah, this wasn't something that was very good for what I wanted to see for longs because we were going bearish, bearish, right? But then we pushed back above and we took the highs out to the left. It's not a strong bullish market structure for me because there's the wick and we're closing back below. If we closed with a solid bar up here today, then I'd be like, okay, dollars bullish. We might have a lot more downside for the market coming. But since we just wicked it and we closed back below, you know, it could just be nothing and we could trend back down again and the market could go up from here. So you typically when the dollar's bullish, the market is bearish and vice versa. So if the dollar has strength, NASDAQ is gonna be weak continuously. But for now, we're just gonna have to watch and see what happens. And last things, so I just wanna look at the two year and the 10 year. So if you look at the 10 year, we can see that we had a big rejection and this is something I wanna see. So rejection came up, lower high, rejection again. Uh, if this rolls over, market can go up higher. Same thing on the two year. Two year, it's been kind of rolling over. Uh, we actually did, we sold off, rallied, sold off again, lower low. So this looks to me like it's rolling over and 10 year also looks like it's rolling over. If they both roll over, the market has legs to move higher, in my opinion. So all these things are basically pointing to me believing that we most likely put in a bottom today. There's potential for one more down day, but we're very close to the bottom and I'm gonna wait for a four hour bullish market structure to get in longs on the NASDAQ. Subscribe for more videos just like this. I post two videos a week. Give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it. It really lets me know you like these kind of videos. Let me know in the comments down below what you wanna see more of. Happy trading and have a great weekend and I'll see you in the next video.